I'm Hajbu Hazube. I'll just say to you uh, from where we come and who we are first, and I'll talk about the city of uh, Fumulwa Technopole. Um, we are actually belonging to one of the biggest uh, phosphate company in the world. Uh, we, our group is selling uh, phosphate, then uh, phosphoric acid, then the fertilizers to feed the planet. As you know, fertilizers are used to, uh, uh, to agriculture, in agriculture. And uh, our present, our uh, group has almost 160 customers in 90 countries and in almost all continents. Um, Fosbukra uh, OCP group is uh, uh, headquarters are in Morocco. You know, Morocco is uh, uh, a country which is uh, located in North Africa. Today, uh, as you know, OCP is uh, uh, an engaged corporate company and uh, that's why it created four new cities, smart, environmental and social uh, uh, cities that are located in four mining sites, either mining uh, or uh, sometimes chemical sites. So the idea behind these cities is to create sustainability by creating opportunity for uh, employment for young people and uh, creating also technology and developing uh, other opportunities for business in these new uh, cities. Our uh, Fosbukra Foundation came as a proven commitment of our group uh, to develop the southern regions, which are regions located in South Morocco and which are, have a lot of challenges to, uh, uh, to manage. Uh, so uh, our foundation has been launching many, many programs, social programs, cultural ones, educational ones, economical ones to create enterprises, and uh, urban development programs. And the Technopole of Fumilwad is one of them. The idea of our foundation is to create sustainability in southern region, to participate to the development of the region, to improve the life of the local communities, uh, to create, uh, sit to develop citizens' care and to contribute to agricultural development in these southern regions. This project of Fumulwe Technopole is uh, one of the most important urban projects that has ever happened in all sub-Saharan Africa. Why? First of all, this is a project located in 126 hectares. It's far from the southern big city, which is Layoun, uh, 18 kilometers, uh, 19 kilometers down the airport and the city. And it is on the coastal side of the Atlantic Ocean. It's a project that is uh, uh, combining many, many uh, challenges. It is near the desert, desertic area, uh, a harsh environment and the sea as also a challenge. So this project of the Technopole, uh, Fumulwa Technopole, is combining all these challenges to be uh, a very, uh, uh, very innovative in all the aspects that is going to be uh, working on. Um, and the project aims to develop uh, the regions, southern regions, uh, uh, empowerment in economic. Uh, today, uh, if you see the project, I can just show you this uh, lagoon. This lagoon was challenging because there was no water in it. And because the creation of the road cut this lagoon from water. Our project is going to reconnect this lagoon to the water and create from it an opportunity for research and development and aquaculture. Here also you will find a farm, an experimental farm, which is uh, designed to be uh, an experimental farm in arid areas uh, with smart farming techniques and to develop this farming and to be destined to develop agriculture in other spaces, especially in sub-Saharan Africa. Also, this place 
is here a university and the research and development center. This university is going to be uh, working on three main elements, agriculture, water, and energy. We have a lot of wind, a lot of sun. It's not like, actually like in Finland, we have a lot of, a lot of uh, snow. There, there is a lot of sand, a lot of sun, and a lot of, a lot of uh, wind. So here we are going to capture all these energies to combine them and to create a kind of uh, 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 sustainable uh, city. The, the sea also is moving forward and to, to protect this coastal side, we are going to work on developing techniques in order to, stagnate, to make the water not move forward uh, in, in, in this area. Uh, another element with which we start in this technopole, in this uh, uh, first phase, there is the university, as I said in the beginning, there is a secondary school of excellency, which is a, a secondary school that aims to bring also sub-Saharan students, because the idea is to have all the excellent students and to bring them. Our foundation was given almost 150 scholarship the last two years, and the idea today is to bring other uh, excellent students to study in this school and to have them uh, developing their skills in our industrial center that's going also to happen in 2018. Because these three main elements, the industrial center, the secondary school of excellency, and the university are going to happen in 2018. Uh, another element that is uh, the dunes of sand you will see that surrounding the project, there is artificial dunes that we are going to build with agriculture on, uh, on them on the top in order to prevent also the wind from uh, uh, coming to the new city. This is a smart city, yes. Uh, it will be a smart city that's going to work on internet, uh, uh, which will be, and its smart side will be based specifically on internet of things, on smart network and unified telecoms, and an integrated system and information. Uh, but this is not the most important thing. Here we are seeing a lot of smart cities that are more innovative and more interesting. Most in interesting thing in this project is that it's joining three main elements. If you go from this conference and this, especially this round table, just with these three elements, that will be the most important message that we're gonna uh, give today. Three main elements is that this city is going to combine human elements, sustainable elements and smart elements together. Because for us, smart elements is just a tool to achieve uh, uh, better services for the local communities, to develop some jobs and some employment for them. But the most important element for us is the combination of these three elements, technology, human, and sustainability. And we are working on this element of human by interacting with the ecosystem, making a lot of training for the young people and women, by valorizing local opportunities, valorizing the culture. You know, in the South, people are very strict to the culture. I'm born there in 72, in 1972, when the Spanish was still there. And uh, we wear this traditional dress, that's why I'm wearing this today. But we are strict to the culture, that's why in this project we're going to have a museum, and uh, uh, the first museum for the ecosystem. Uh, in this uh, human elements also, we are going to connect the students also with the uh, learning and knowledge spaces around the world in order to make the world very near to them. For sustainability elements, as, you, as I said in the beginning, there is the lagoon, there is the coast side that we're going to protect, and there is uh, also a use of coverage of 40% by renewable energy uh, by uh, uh, on 2017, and 100% of our energy will come from renewable sources before 2020. Uh, so these are the main elements regarding sustainability as issue. 
regarding technological issue, there is the smart grid and there is a lot of innovative services that's going, that are going to happen in this new city. And uh, to us, uh, this is very important for uh, local uh, uh, community, for the local uh, stability or stability of young uh, people because you know that young people, a lot of them in our countries, unfortunately try to migrate. So if they find opportunities in a city like this one, that's going to be not only serving uh, the, uh, the, the smart elements, but the human, the smart, and the, to be a city of sustainability, it's going to make a lot of young people remain in their area and uh, more aware of the sustainability questions and also aware of technology, because today technology is lacking and we, have, we are doing a lot of trainings. Some of them can ask uh, why this project is not promoted and developed by uh, like uh, developers or a company directly. It's developed by a foundation. Uh, the answer is that by developing a project by a foundation, we're not just looking to business opportunities, we're looking to all the elements together and we are working on an integrated project in which we try to integrate all these elements to create an innovative one. So that's why there is a choice of our foundation to develop this project. Uh, the Technopole is going to be open to Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa mainly, and also, why not, to Africa in general. Uh, uh, our aim is to develop the best know-how model to also serve the population there. And this model is not only going to be integrated with the national one, but also the international one. That's why we are present today in this expo to also promote this project, try to find investors and partners from your country and other countries around the world. Uh, you know today that this element of, uh, uh, we have been seeing a lot of cities developed around the world. The problem of these cities is either there are developers who choose the idea to build a new city with all its urban design and to, to build a sustainability issue in it, to build a, a environment, to build technology in it, but the problem of the cities, the new cities in general, it's very difficult to maintain them successful and sustainable and uh, uh, interesting, uh, interesting for uh, many people. And uh, our aim today, as you know, here this area in which we are, we uh, normally, uh, we have a population of almost 3,500 people living near this project. But uh, the, this project is located in an area that kept, captured almost more than 20,000 people in summer period because everyone comes to this uh, beach to, to swim and to, to spend summer vacations. So almost during three months, there is 20,000 people coming to this area. And our objective is to have by 2022, 6,000 people more, but uh, by after, have more people come in and uh, bring in uh, a lot of people to make it a sustainable city. We're growing smaller. Not, we are not Masdar City. We are not yet Lenshon City, which is in Korea. We are a small city, but we aim to be a, a big one in the future, but also a big one with a very reasonable and a very sustainable way of thinking and of concepting this project. Uh, here, uh, this, uh, this is some images. The first one is our university. You see in its architecture, there is also the human touch that we are, because we have been uh, uh, and, uh, asking the architects to be innovative. And the architects were innovative. That's why they built a project that is similar to a tent. As you know, we are in a place in which there are nomads. So this uh, university seems like a tent, and at the same time, it's like a dune of the sand. And this middle place 
which is going to be a, a pergola for the students that are not the term in English. But this is the, the common space for students. And in this place, under this place, there will be like, this place is like a wadi that's going uh, in the middle of the university because we are near a river. And we bring also this concept of a river in the university. And there is also this uh, secondary school of excellency, which have also specific architecture that is uh, also uh, bringing some uh, specific elements of the local culture in it. And also for our industrial center of training, the same thing. Uh, These all elements, uh, we chose them uh, in the first phase because we consider education and training are the most fundamental and the most important elements in any new city. And these are the heart of our project. So uh, uh, today we will have the delivery of the first elements by September 2018. So anyone who wanna visit, you're welcome. Uh, you can have our contact from the CEO who's present of this expo. And uh, we will also uh, uh, Ne be needy to any partners who are uh, interested in developing this kind of project for uh, the South, but also for African region. I will just uh, show you a small video of the project. This is uh, uh, local music that uh, um, uh, uh, an artist uh, from the South living in France was offering us. And this is the first, as we say, experiences of Saharan Africa there is architectural innovation and uh, energy rethinking. This is the center of competences, which is here. And this is the secondary school of excellency. And this is our university, which is going to be focused on research and development of uh, water, energy, and agriculture uh, elements. And uh, we have also uh, this area by the end of the video, uh, you, you see this, uh, this area that is near the project, almost 600, I'm sorry, uh, almost 600 uh, kilometers, uh, uh, almost 600, kilo uh, 600 hectares, I'm sorry, are going to be also added to, the, to this uh, technopole by the end in order to uh, develop it in the future. So it is 126 hectares today, but it's going to be bigger than this uh, uh, in, in, in the future. Uh, as you know, also, I want to add some uh, uh, more elements. Uh, we have a city of uh, Ben Gerir, uh, which is uh, located near Marrakesh. OCP is building it. We have city of Mazagon. That OCP also is building near Casablanca in El Jadida, which is our chemical uh, near the chemical site, and we have the green mine of Khuribga, which is the biggest industrial uh, mine of uh, Morocco uh, of phosphates in Morocco. So all these cities of OCP are going to be connected between them also, and will also be connected through many elements, uh, uh, cultural elements environmental elements, technological elements, and also sustainability and all these aspects about which we were talking. So they are going to be connected between them and they are going to be connected also to the world. So we have a lot of partnership today with a lot of partners around the world and we are trying to work in order to develop this partnership furthermore in order to have uh, new cities that are going to be a model in terms of sustainability and creation of uh, welfare for uh, of wealth for the local communities. Uh, by the end, I want to just add the small elements, which is uh, for me a very, very important element. Uh, it's my own uh, creation which is, uh, I think that today we are organizing smart cities. Hopefully in 2018, I'm gonna invite you to our city, but with a new concept, which is SHS cities. I will explain sustainable, human, and smart cities. So I think this will be a complete, uh, uh, complete concept 
for the new cities of tomorrow that's going to be more important than just having smart city or innovative city or sustainable city. Because without these three combination of human, smart, and sustainability, I think that the new cities are going to lose something which is more, more, very fundamental and very important for the success of any new project in any new city. Thank you for your attention. Kitos, I hope it's correct in the fin Finnish language. Thank you very much, and uh, uh, I'm ready to hear any of your questions, uh, if there is any. Um, so. Any questions? Yes. Yes. Uh, we have now started, uh, all the studies are almost finished for the building of the new uh, three buildings. Now we, are, we did the site preparations and we are, uh, by November, we are going to launch the construction of the industrial center. The, the, now they are working on the preparation of the site, the fancy, fence preparation we call it in English. Thank you. So uh, by November, the starting of the building of the Center of Industrial Training is starting, the secondary school by December, and the university by February. So by 2018, September 2018, the three elements are going to be finished. And now we are launching also the studies for uh, uh, the other elements, the hotel, the, center, the business center, and the business incubator, uh, the museum, all these other elements that are coming, we have yet launched their consultations. Uh, we were launching the consultations in the beginning in French, but today we are also launching them in English to bring other partners world worldwide to have almost the other countries also participating. And we have some Nordic partners today, especially I think Ericsson, who are with us from, uh, from Norway, I think from, from Sweden, sorry, thank you. Yes. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, our main partner, you know, uh, the one who is doing for us the management of the building aspects is American. So we have Jacobs Engineering who are working with us in the, all the management of the buildings and infrastructure. So any American is welcome or any English speaking language, uh, speaking country is welcome to, to this project. There is no distinction between any country or any element. That's just. In Morocco, in general, the language that was used always is French, but in all public consultations and Arabic. But today, there is, uh, in our group is working on launching all the consultations also, some of them in English, in French, and Arabic at the same time. Yes. Any other questions? Yes, I can get the <laughs> sorry. Yes. We have uh, financial uh, support of OCP group of $200 million. And uh, now for the other uh, financial aspects, we are looking for partners for the hotel, for example, for the hospital. All these elements are going to be private uh, managed, uh, managed by the private sector in order to have other private sector uh, partners coming into the project. But we have yet $200 million that are uh, uh, given by the group to this project. Any other questions? Shall I have one? Um, okay. You mentioned a museum of ecosystems. What does that involve? Yes, uh, the museum is going to be the first one that is related to environmental issues. We are in desertic area. We have a lot of natural constraints, but uh, there is a lot of story. And Layoun is uh, located, our city is located in a space which is called Ecotone. It's a mix of many ecosystems that make this city very rich in terms of species, natural species that were living in the past. So today the museum is going to be a, an opportunity to recreate the ecosystem that were in, was there in the past to 
uh, demonstrated through the museum, but also all the national uh, uh, ecosystem and sub-Saharan African ecosystem, which is very fragile. And today we are losing a lot of uh, species, as you know, uh, they, are, uh, they are in uh, extinction. So the idea is to bring all these species in the museum for anyone who will come to this area to see what are the species that were living. You know, our foundation is trying also not only to build this museum, but also to develop a lot of uh, aspects related to environment and to culture. And in that element, culture is very present in the infrastructure and the architecture, but also very present in the, for example, the commercial uh, area will be made in a way that you will see all the handicrafts and the artisana and the local culture in it. So we're trying to join every time in this project the culture, the environment, and the technological. It's not very easy, but we try to uh, bring all these elements together in all our conception of the project. And uh, by the way, uh, in culture, we are working today with some NGOs to try also to rehabilitate all the uh, les forts, uh, all the, uh, les, the ancient uh, spaces that were used in the past for boats and in which there were Spanish, Phoenicians, uh, English or any other uh, countries were there, we try to rehabilitate them in order to be more uh, interesting for students, but also for tourists who come to visit the area to see them uh, developed. Uh, yes, we are in a very, uh, in a, an area which is very challenging in terms of environment, but these challenges are an opportunity for us today uh, to develop this project and to be a more uh, 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 trying to protect this uh, very fragile environment. Yes. Thank you. Not at all. Thank Madame Zubair. Thank you very much for your attendance. Thank you.